I'm here with Will McLeod, former candidate for mayor of San Antonio. How are you doing today, Will? Doing all right. We're down here at Austin City Hall. Uh, it's Wednesday, uh, November 28th, special called meeting. Why, why are you here today, Will? Well, I'm here to uh, speak out against the uh, Visa USA corporate welfare uh, that the city of Austin wants to do. Uh, as you may heard that the Visa USA has actually gotten uh, corporate welfare from the state of Texas and Travis County. And uh, now the city of Austin wants to just give them money. I was like, we, we have a poor, terrible housing situation where uh, apartments now start at $750 a month uh, for a one bedroom. Uh, when about three years ago, it was only 635 for that same apartment. And a lot of it contributes to the property taxes and the waste for spending that a city of Austin does. Not only that, we also have um, the city of Austin's utility company, uh, Austin Energy. They raise their rates because they want to build the reserves. I think they raise their rates so they can pay for these pet welfare projects. And it's just absurd. And we know about the general fund transfers, $110 million of which are being siphoned off each year from the Austin Energy General uh, into the city's general fund from Austin Energy, not spent on energy related items. More corporate welfare, they raised our rates, huge rate increase. And you and me, brother, and many other people here in Austin are now suffering as, as a consequence. Right, I mean, and then you have this community benefits fee of $8.36 tacked on to the utility bill. We don't know where all that money is going. And they always say it's a public utility, it's a community benefit. I don't see any benefits. They're uh, raising prices on me. And uh, electricity rates in Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio, much larger cities, are much more affordable than here in Austin. Right, exactly. And they still have all these business opportunities and economic opportunities all throughout the uh, Harris County and Tarrant County and Dallas County. But here, you know, we're going to have to give them money to come down here. Why don't they give us money, the citizens? Why don't they give it in the form of refunds? And what I don't understand is, well, the, uh, the wasteful spending of Austin Energy. And the you know, way to solve that is get a citizen's initiative like they did, we all did 10 1 and abolish Austin Energy and replace Austin Energy but with an electric company run by the voters and give the voters choice of their electric providers. Houston has it, I'm sure Dallas has it. Why are we a major city that's supposed to be world class that do not have electric providers? Yes, sir. The choice of electric providers. And today, Austin City Council is considering giving a Visa Corporation, one of the biggest corporations in the world, $2 million. What are you going to tell Austin City Council today? Briefly here, you've got 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to tell the uh, uh, city of Austin, Austin is like, why don't you give us a refund? If you're going to spend that money, spend it on us. Spend it on the people that need the uh, necessary medical treatment, uh, the place to live over their heads, and you're, you're making homelessness a crime. Well, it's a crime to give corporate welfare. If it's not a crime, it should be a crime. As Ralph Nader would say, corporate crime at its best. Thank you for being here with me and with the standing with the people of Austin today. No Will McLeod, ladies and gentlemen.